Well, hello and back again with me, Hendra. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna share a, a little bit about this exciting project. This is uh, well, basically, it's not something new, uh, but it's an awesome project for me because this is a robot, as you can see. I make this robot. If you're familiar with this chassis, this is uh, Adafruit. I think it's from Adafruit uh, robot chassis. It's actually three layer, uh, which is one, two. There is a third layer, but I am not using it because it's not necessary for me. Basically, this is uh, just a robot with two motors in it and a caster in the front of it. And I use uh, this bulky L2989, eh, sorry, L298M motor driver. I have two battery in here. I have LiPo battery, which uh, power the microcontroller. And I have another two LiPo battery in here, which give seven volt to the motor driver, because as you know, the motor needs a little much power than the microcontroller. And for the code, okay, disclaimer, this project is actually based on uh, my friend. Uh, Mas Andi Dinata, you can check his blog in here, uh, which is, has an awesome content in it, but it's in Bahasa, well, let me check if I can the, the translate all of his content into English. Which one is English? English, 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 English. There's no English in here. Awesome. This is somewhere, no, no English. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter. Actually, the blog is in Bahasa, but you can easily translate to English. This project is based uh, on his post, which is a remote control with MicroPython. It's translated uh, to that. Uh, he already made a full post about this, and you can also use his GitHub repo in here, because this robot is powered with MicroPython which is an awesome platform. As you know, I love MicroPython, seen from my channel. You see, they, he, al he already made a full uh, bone tutorial and a video demo uh, about it. This is a, a replica, actually, from his project. But the difference is, uh, the microcontroller that I use, in here, he used a Node MCU which is based on the ESP8266 microcontroller, and he used the, this module with, uh, which has, does it already? Oh yeah, it already has a motor driver in it, which is using L293D, which is already also a common motor driver chip, same as L298M that I use. And this is the block diagram, which is a very simple block diagram, you see, using Fritzing. And the code is only based on these three main code. Well, actually, the main dot pi is or is only uh, consists of importing something and calling an ob uh, an object, which is the object is already in these two data. I'm gonna explain a little bit about his code. Uh, this is his code. I'm gonna put the uh, full code. Uh, I'm gonna put his GitHub repository in the down in the description. As you can see, this is actually uh, quite simple. Not, uh, not that many things happen in here. Like this rover.py, it's actually the code to control all the motors. In here, as you can see, I, I define my pin in here. And also, the great thing, I can control the speed of the motor, which is mostly sometimes that or not, not sometimes, mostly I, I didn't do it. I just, as long as the motor runs, it's okay, it's fine by me. But this code, it has some motor control in it, which is awesome. So I can control going too fast, going slow, and etc. And for the control itself, you can control it uh, from any web browser because this other code, it uses the socket module or socket library and the ESP itself act as a web server, so you don't need any third-party web server, you don't need any 
Apache or Engine X anymore because the microcontroller itself was already run the web server, which is fine. Which means you can control it from any kind of device. As you can see, this is a simple, also a simple library. He also include the HTML down in here. He used also a AJAX in here, and he make a, a web server class, web server object in here, which is control all the motor directly using this interface. I'm gonna show the demo for you in a, in a moment. But as I told you before, I'm not using ESP8266. I'm using ESP32 Fire Beetle from the F robot, which is an awesome microcontroller. It has onboard battery charger down in the board, and it uses a different kind of USB to serial, which is his. It's using STM32 or something like that. I forgot about it, but it's not your yeah, common USB to serial chip. And as you can see, I'm I'm using a few chip from here, uh, which is IO17, 16, 4, and 12 which is I define in this section. Uh, this is a bit, uh, a little bit different from uh, Mas and the code because he's using uh, ESP8266. I think he used pin A04. Okay, because this is micro Python, so uh, I think maybe I can also can run this into ESP32. Well, which is it, which, uh, sorry, <laughs> which it is which uh, I can also run this without any tweak. I just do a simple tweak, I guess, only on the web server side, because I need uh, to customize my port. And that's it. It's just, it's just using the same code. Same with the not MCU. I'm using the ESP32 code. I'm using the ESP32 micro Python, uh, sorry, micro Python for the ESP32 version which is really the same, it has Wi-Fi, but the difference is it doesn't have web wrapper, which is kind of pain for me, but it's fine. So now let me take you to a, a demo. I think what I need to do, okay, I've already connect the microcontroller. I think the web server is already running. Okay, let me refresh. Okay, as you can see, I have two slides in here. Let me stop this. Oh, I think it's not running. Let me reset this for a while. I don't know why it's not running. Oh, that's a bummer. From default, so the if it's in center, if it's in the center, the the motor will run, will go forward. And if it's on the top, the motor will stop. But I don't know what happened with my uh, connection. Uh, let me try to change Wi-Fi. Let me try to connect to my Wi-Fi credential, to my Wi-Fi hotspot. So I will be in the same network with my ESP32. Uh, let me try one and two. OK. OK, let me try this. You here? I'm there. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry about this. Okay, okay. Let me try. Now, as you can see, if I slide it up, the motor will stop. And if I go drag this slider down, I can control the speed of the motor. If I go down again, the motor speed will increase. And if I go to the bottom, the motor will go reverse. Now, as you can see. Sorry, I'm gonna see it from the side. As you can see. Now, if I want to go reverse, I need, just need to slide this down to the bottom. Now, as you can see. Different direction. And this is to go turn. Just to go right and to go left. So between the two motors, the right motor will go faster than the right motor if if it wants to go turn right. And the other side also the same. The right motor will go faster than the left motor. So we go turn right. 
Okay, so that's it for the overview of this project. I'm gonna put all of the con actually I don't need to put the content uh, of the of the robot because Mas Andy already did a great job on documenting his project here. I'm just gonna put the link down in the description. Also the code for the awesome project. Okay, so if you have any question about this project, just comment down below. I will reply to you. So this is Hendra, and I'm signing out. Bye-bye.